ever wondered what's new in the Fedora universe? What if I told you that Fedora 40 and Fedora 40 KDE Edition are here with some groundbreaking improvements that will revolutionize your computing experience? Let's dive in. First, let's discuss GNOME 46, a major update to the GNOME desktop environment designed explicitly for Fedora users. The most significant change in Fedora 40 is the introduction of GNOME 46. This is a major release of the GNOME desktop environment, the first one in nine years. Fedora is also one of the first major distros to ship GNOME 46. Now, let's move on to Linux kernel 6.8. Fedora 40 features the Linux kernel 6.8, which brings several improvements. Here are the main ones. Virtualization enhancements. It introduces linear address masking LM for Intel processors and guest first memory support for KVM, enhancing performance and flexibility in virtual environments. File system support. Key improvements include a new online check and repair feature for bcachefs. Enhanced online FSCK for XFS without the need for unmounting, faster reading of small blocks for ext4, and new features for BTRFS and EROFS that improve performance and compression, especially in low memory situations. Hardware compatibility. Linux kernel 6.8 expands its support to newer hardware, such as the Broadcom BZM2712 processor found in Raspberry Pi 5. MDW BRF Wi-Fi feature, and Intel's XE graphics with a new DRM driver. Memory management. Memory management has been improved through optimizations such as Z-Swap write-back disabling, and a multi-size interface for transparent huge pages, THP. Lastly, let's discuss the Fedora 40 KDE edition. The most significant change in Fedora KDE 40 is the introduction of KDE Plasma 6. This is a major release of the Plasma desktop environment, the first in nine years. Fedora KDE is also one of the first major distros to ship Plasma 6, and we're the first Fedora Linux desktop variant to ship with, and only. Several new features are included in Fedora KDE 40, including a new overview effect for keeping tabs on all open applications across all virtual desktops. The release also has partial support for HDR, which is on the way to full support. Accessibility improvements have been introduced with color blindness correction filters. The taskbar has a new floating panel, and customizing panels is more accessible than ever, with an understandable UI to help users make the changes they want with minimal effort. The Breeze UI theme, which has been a hallmark of Plasma for a while, gets a refresh with simplifications and modernizations where needed. NeoChat, KDE Matrix client, is provided by default for users to try. The Cube, a tool for managing virtual desktops, has returned. The new overview effect is cool, but using the Cube to manage your virtual desktops is a fantastic party trick to impress your friends the next time you share your screen. What does this mean for you? Well, with Fedora 40 and Fedora 40 KDE Edition, you can enjoy an advanced operating system that offers major improvements to enhance your user experience. Fedora 40 pushes the boundaries of what can be achieved with an open source operating system, featuring newly designed desktops GNOME 46 and KDE Plasma 6, as well as the new Linux kernel 6.8. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.